Hello, I'm Chef Byers and I'm going to talk about how to use a bevel and when to use smoothing. Um, best way to describe it is that beveling is great on small objects and from a distance and smoothing is good for larger objects. Um, so let's take a look at what both of these can do for an object. So I'm going to go in here and with this object I'm going to create a subdivision cap that I can use. Um, let's go ahead and select that edge and scale that up to about oh, just about right there and do the same thing with this guy right here and then you can try this as well if you'd like go ahead and add an edge loop uh, let's go ahead and add that a little bit lower. There we go. And right about there. Okay. And then we are going to do the same thing for this guy right here. Add edge loops. Kind of give it, get a feeling how um, using a bevel has its pros and cons like anything else. Alright, so there's our edge loop. Um, you can see that uh, our edge loop cage on both objects. Alright, so now how do we add a how do we add a bevel to an object? So let's go in here to this object and we want to select the edges. So let's click on the edges and we will go to edit mesh bevel and go into the option box and don't worry if you make a mistake here because it'll come up with a little marking menu so let's go with 0.5 that might be too big and we're going to do a segment of four so let's click on bevel and you can see that uh, this little marking menu came up or a uh, little menu came up and we can change the frac fraction to a little bit lower like 0.1 okay or 0 0.05 and this really depends on how big your object is okay so 0.5 let's try that alright so you can see we got a bevel and so putting uh, adding an edge to an object will reflect light and uh, make it a lot nicer to look at. But the problem with beveled edges that you, is that it there's a fine line that doesn't blend all the way across or all the way down. It blends between this edge and this edge only. Um, it doesn't, like a mesh will blend all the way through. A smooth mesh will blend all the way through. So let me show you. I click on this object and let's go ahead and actually smooth it to um, 2 and you can see that smooths all the way through through this object okay and um, and it only gets better and you can see that you can tell the difference especially when you get close up what the differences are between a mesh smooth and a mesh bevel um, so those two so from basically if you're in a hurry or if you got smaller objects um, that would work but on a couch or your furniture it does not work but for small objects it can work if you're far enough away from the camera and to save it basically saves polygons and it renders a lot faster than something like that obviously this would render a lot longer so you just kinda have to as an artist to find out how far you can go with the bevel without becoming before it becomes obvious that it is beveled and it doesn't look good and when you get about this close it looks terrible so when you get about this far away it's really hard to tell the difference between the two really so at a distance they uh, the bevel looks just as good but when you get closer that's when it falls apart Okay, so uh, that's basically it. And then let's see what this one looks like as a smooth object. 
and let's take a look at this box uh, with a bevel so let's click on the edges let's just basically it's a box so let's select, select the whole thing and edit mesh and bevel and that's too much so let's go in here and do a point zero five like we had on the other one there we go and there we go so you can see the differences between the box and the bevel it's quite obvious actually um, this reflects a, a, and when you get closer this reflects light so much better in in a more realistic way and this one does not because you've got a very harsh shadow or hi, harsh highlight here but then it goes it spreads out across here but then you've got this hard edge right here and there's nothing you can do with that you can't make that any better uh, it is what it is so from a distance though they look uh, very similar and look good so small objects tend to do really well um, the bevel is almost unnatural as far as uh, uh, being almost too sharp of an angle so I tend to uh, do high poly modeling um, and it, and the funny thing is is this type of a uh, um, geometry will actually uh, bake maps uh, better. So, anyway, hopefully, hopefully this helps you with the, your bevel tool. All right. Until next time.